on this Monday of Holy Week. Wanted to check in and just see how y'all are doing um, in this very extraordinary and unordinary time of living. I ran across a devotion by Lily Lewin. Uh, it was inspired by the writings of Joyce Rupp. And it's called Praying With Your Cup for Holy Week. Now, you all know how much I like my coffee. So, I was thinking that since Jesus talks about cups in his ministry, um, in Matthew 10, we hear um, about giving a cup of cold water to the least of these. And in Matthew 21, we hear about sharing um, how Jesus shares his cup of suffering when the disciples want a special place of honor. Um, drinking and sharing in the cup of the new covenant and the cup of salvation at the Last Supper. And we hear how Jesus asked God to remove um, the cup of suffering from him in his prayers in the Garden of Gethsemane. So what I realized was that in the normal course of events, we find Holy Week to be a time of being filled and energizing us spiritually. But I suspect that for many of us right now, that's not the case. Our spiritual cups are not only not overflowing, but they're actually kind of running dry and maybe need to be filled or refilled. So what I decided to do was invite you to meet me for a cup of coffee or tea or water or wine, whatever, whatever your choice is in this coming week and allow God to speak to you about your life with God as you drink from your cup. In the words of Lewin, Allow Jesus to use that cup of your beverage of choice to be a symbol of where you are on your journey. Allow Jesus to refresh you as you drink of it each day. Allow Jesus to interrupt you in the midst of the day, in the midst of a meeting, and to remind you of the cup of salvation or of his cup of suffering, or your need for his living water. Together in this time, let us use our cups to draw us closer to this week as we take time to pause, to reflect, and to walk with Jesus, knowing that his desire in all of this is to refresh you and provide you with a cup that is overflowing and that is never ending in his love and his grace and his mercy. We hear how Peter had said to Jesus, Lord, when someone has sinned against me, how many times ought I to forgive him? Once, twice, we all think that's enough, right? Once or twice, that's done. Maybe as many as seven times? And Jesus answered him in an astounding way. You must forget not seven times, but 70 times seven. And in Ephesians, we are reminded that we are to be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ. This is a time of reminding us that we are to be forgiving, to be filled with 
So today on our Monday, we are looking at the cup of forgiveness, which is a confession. What do you need to ask forgiveness for? Spend time talking to God about this. And then allow God's love to fill you up today. As you wash your cups or other dishes, allow this to be a time of confession. Think about what is the dirt and the grime of life that needs to be washed away from your life. Ask Jesus to show you. And allow the water to remind you that Jesus is cleansing and forgiving you daily. Loving God, we ask you in this time to remind us how forgiving you are. You are so forgiving that you took away all of our sins through your son. Let us be so forgiving to one another. And let us be so forgiving to ourselves. Be with us as we continue our journey into this holy week and fill our cups to overflowing. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Thank you for spending just a few minutes with me. Um, I'm gonna try to do this each day, or I will be doing this each day. Um, and a reminder again that we do have a Monday Thursday service at 6 p.m. through Zoom on Thursday. And hope you all join us then. God's blessings be upon you. See you later.